main reason we need new gutters for our church is because at all the seams they leak, develop ice pockets and spots on the concrete, on the pavement, which has caused people to fall and have injuries. And there's multiple spots throughout the whole base gutter system, which is approximately 300 feet of gutter, that they leak all the way around the building. And the asphalt shingles, some of the water leaks behind it, so it leaks behind the shingles and behind the gutter, so that will all be replaced, so it will have a good ceiling and no more leaks in heavy traffic. piece of equipment behind me is the chiller. It's what keeps the church cool in the summertime. It's designed with a 25-year lifespan. Our chiller is now entering its 27th summer. So you can see it's at the end of its life. We would like to change this chiller out before it dies because there is a six-month lead time on the piece of equipment and another three or four months before it can be installed after that. So we're looking at a nine to ten month time period when we would not have Kool-Aid. We would like to order it this fall and have it installed next spring sometime so that for next summer we will have cooling in the church uninterrupted. You've probably all come to church and seen the door partially open. It's because the fans on the inside are taking in more air from the, from the outside than it can exhaust. We need to add another exhaust fan so that we can eliminate this problem and make sure that the doors close all the way. It's really a security issue because sometimes people walk out and the door doesn't close all the way and then it's like it's not locked. The three offices located right behind me are our main church offices, Pastor's office, Maggie's office, and Maria's office. Uh, they operate off of one zone from our air handler that's located in the basement. We would like to change that to each office having its own zone so that we can maintain comfort in all three zones at the same time, which we have not been able to do in the past. It's only appropriate that the people working in this, these offices while they're doing God's work, are comfortable. These are the main electrical panels for the church side of the building. They've been here since the church was built in 1967. They're obviously old. Parts, particularly breakers, are almost impossible to get. Sometimes we can find used ones on the internet when we need one. Uh, we're currently out of stock. They're very expensive. Uh, this whole panel, uh, these two panels, need to be changed, need to be upgraded, and a new electrical panel box will be set up right down below us, so we're going to be all easy for us to do from the standpoint of installation. <clears throat> these panels also control the lighting in the church. The lighting in the church is old, it's incandescent, it needs to be replaced to new modern LED lighting that can be controlled from a computer like everything else is controlled in a building today. So we're planning on replacing this and replacing the lighting that's up in the church, up in that uh, where the light is up in the middle of the church. Everything will go downstairs <clears throat> and it will be a nice new look in this area. These are the lights that I referenced a minute ago in the electrical section. They are hard old, they are hard to maintain, the bulbs are impossible to buy these days, they're expensive if we do find them. So, and of course, as you can see, they're 50 feet up in the air, so when we do change them out, we have to go out and rent a very big lift 
to get up there and do it. it. It becomes a large maintenance problem for us. We'd like to change these out to LED lighting, which will give us much more flexibility and bring the lighting in our church up to modern standards. The part of the building right behind me is called the chase. The chase allows us to run conduits, pipes, duct work, things like that from the lower level of the church to the upper level of the church. Once we do the HVAC work in the office area, the duct work that's in here will no longer be needed. Once we do the electrical work that is on here for the panels over here, which will now be located downstairs, they, the chase will not be needed at all. We can remove the chase. Wouldn't it be nice if when you walk in the front doors, you see the church instead of a door? <laughs> 